The next video is the next installment of the Dazzling and we're up to chapter 10. So then what? Corey asked. Farhan shrugged. Then nothing. So let me get this straight, Corey said. You let a smoking hot guy get you off against your door, but you didn't let him stay the night? No, Sihan let a deflated sigh. Rested her elbows against the smooth bar and propped her chin on her hands. She knew it sounded crazy that she didn't let him stay, especially considering how far they had already taken things, but she still felt like she had made the right decision. Sihan noticed Blaine's eyes widened in the mirror behind the bar as she finished reapplying her lip gloss. So you don't want to have sex with Derek Miller? She turned around to face the girls again. Of course I want to have sex with him. Have you seen him? Not able to stay seated at the moment longer, she stood and walked a few feet away, needing to release some of her nervous energy. I know we've already taken it pretty far, but any further felt too fast. I don't want to seem like one of those chicks who falls into bed with a giant guy just because he's wealthy. Why not? It worked for Tiffany. Corey pointed over at the petite redhead who was typing on one of the restaurant's iPads and the girls laughed. Sahan didn't know whether Corey was kidding. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. You think those torpedoes are real? She looks more like Raggedy Ann on growth hormones. Sihan knew Tiffany's breasts were fake, but it had never occurred to her that she'd gotten them because of her job. She felt her jaw drop. She had sex with the customer and he paid for them? Manel shook her head. Nope. She had sex with the customer and he put them in. He was some famous plastic surgeon out in LA. Sihan lowered her voice and flung an arm in Tiffany's direction. See? That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm not using Derek like that, and I don't want anyone thinking I am. His money makes me uncomfortable. To be honest, I kind of wish he didn't even have it. It just complicates things. Corey looked confused. How does money complicate things? It would make all of our lives easier. She paused, probably waiting for someone to agree with her. What if the situation was re was reversed? Your dream is to sell your paintings and make a living off your art eventually. If that happens, I'm sure you want some guy judging you just because you had money. I'm not judging him. Besides, that's different. How? Because? Sahan trailed off. Blaine finished putting the last of the coasters on the bar and looked at her. I'm not in first grade, so because isn't a sufficient explanation. Try again. Sahan remained si silent, lost in her thoughts. She wasn't sure how it was different. She just knew it was. Fidgeting with her silver bracelet, she tried to put her feelings into words. Because I've been painting my whole life. I moved out here with no help from anyone and I work my ass off so I can stay. She could feel herself getting defensive though she didn't know why. Derek created an app when he was in college and sold the idea for God knows how much. He made it sound so easy. And I don't begrudge him that. I'm glad he's successful. But if I'm ever lucky enough to support myself doing what I love, it'll be because I sacrifice a lot of my time and energy making it happen. It won't have come easy for me. The girls stared silently at her, but they looked empathetic. Marnell was the first to speak. So, what? You're just not going to see him anymore because he has money? No, sighed Han, sighed, bringing her hair around to rest in front of her shoulder. I'm going to give it a shot. He seemed sweet and he's funny, and he looks like a bearded god. She felt a goofy spring grin spread across her face. I just want to take things slowly, that's all. You want to take things slowly? Corey sounded unconvinced. With the bearded god who felt you up at an art museum and finger banged you against a door? Sihan shrugged. Yeah, it'll be fine. And that ends that installment for Dazzling.